peaches and welcome back to my channel. I thought today since it's my day off and I had a little time I would try to put a smidge more effort into my appearance and I did my makeup and I did my hair a little bit. I hope you like it because I like it. I think it's really cute. Gorgeous. Even the <laughs> Thanks babe. Even though my eyeliner is a little messed up, but that's okay. Eyeliner are sisters. They are not twins. So before I get started into the video, just wanted to say thank you so much for being here. Don't be afraid to subscribe. I don't bite too hard. I make a lot of fun content. I'm still kind of discovering what I want to make videos about. So if you want to join me in that discovery, hit the subscribe button. You could always unsubscribe later. I promise it won't hurt my feelings too bad. <laughs> Anyways, so today's video is going to be about the crazy experiences I have had as a server. I have been in the restaurant industry for about four years now. I know that isn't a long time compared to a lot of other veterans in the service industry, but for my working life, it is probably the longest industry I have been in. I also worked at Starbucks for about two years on and off, which is kind of similar to the restaurant industry, but I would describe that as more food service. I'll definitely throw in a couple Starbucks parent stories here as well. I just thought it'd be funny and relatable and you could share some horror stories that you've experienced in the restaurant industry as well as horror stories you've witnessed either from your server or other guests. So let's begin. I'm going to start off with a banger and I'm going to talk about the time my co-worker got physically assaulted over a salad. Yeah, I know that is crazy. So let's begin. This happened during the pandemic. Oops, I probably shouldn't have said that. The panorama, whatever. And I was upstairs in the break room waiting for my shift to start because I was on the evening shift the co-worker she was working and she had a day shift and the restaurant wasn't really busy it was kind of like a family owned restaurant and it mainly had two goes i got the job because my boyfriend colton he was the assistant manager there all of a sudden i am hearing lots of yelling and screaming so i get a little concerned and i go downstairs to check out what is happening what i witness are these people screaming at my co-worker and apparently this is what she said that it was over a salad the house salads at the restaurant i used to work at would come with banana peppers and cheese and tomatoes, cucumbers. It was a loaded, beautiful house salad. But I guess this gentleman just wanted salad and croutons and dressing, and he didn't read the menu. So when my coworker presented the salad to him, he exclaimed, what the F is that S? You could fill in what those swear words would mean. And my coworker said, the salad you ordered. And he tried to toss it off the table as she put it down. And he said, no, I didn't want all this crap on my salad. I just wanted lettuce and cucumbers. And I guess my coworker wasn't having it that day. So she said, I don't know what you're talking about. This is a salad you ordered, read it on the menu. And he ended up saying, no, I want a different salad. And she walked away in a huff, talking trash about them loud enough to hear. Now it was a group of three adults and 
a baby. The three adults were the grandma, the grandpa, and the daughter. Grandma ends up following her to the kitchen and cornering her, screaming at the top of her lungs. Now, this was almost three years ago, so I forget exactly what they were screaming, but they were just calling her a bunch of names and swearing. The grandpa was there next to his wife, as well as their daughter holding their grandchild. The daughter was yelling at my coworker as well. Now, my coworker tries to walk away and say, I'm done with this crap. And the grandma ends up coming at her and swinging at her. It was insane. The grandma who attacked my coworker was probably about 5'3", easy over 200 pounds. And my coworker was around the same height, but she was probably 100, 110 pounds max. She was a tiny, petite, beautiful woman. And seeing her get attacked by this insane redneck hillbilly woman was crazy to watch. My boyfriend comes out of the dish pit and says, what the f is going on? And my coworker is being cornered by the fridge, getting punched and punched over and over again. My boyfriend tries to step in, but the grandpa comes up and tries to physically push my boyfriend away so his wife could continue beating up my coworker. Crazy stuff. My boyfriend probably would have gotten involved more, as would I have, but I was pregnant at the time and I wouldn't have risked my unborn child to a berserk woman. And my boyfriend, he didn't want to put his job in jeopardy, so he ends up calling the cops. And he's like, I'm going to call the cops, guys. You better get out of here. You better stop what you're doing. And they were like, yeah, right. I don't care. Calls the cops. He's on the phone with them. They freak out. They leave immediately. I've run after them to try to get a picture of their license plate but the picture ended up being really blurry and the cameras in the parking lot were blurry too unfortunately of their license plate so my coworker was never able to press charges but even though our boss ended up wanting to give her the night off she ended up working so more power to you girly if you're watching this i love you and I miss you, and you are a badass. That was probably the craziest story I've witnessed in my life in the restaurant industry. Now let's get into story number two, where I was called racist by a customer. Actually, I was called a racist beach. <laughs> so let's get into why I was called that. Number one, I just wanna say I am a white woman, and I do my best to be anti-racist. At the same time though, there are prejudices I probably have and am unaware of. So I hope this video doesn't come across as me being prejudiced. Anyways, the gentleman in question who called me a racist beach self-sat himself in my section during a Thanksgiving rush. Now, normally I don't really care about self-seaters because the restaurant I work at right now isn't very busy right now. So any body in a chair is awesome and I love that. The issue was the table was being set up for a five top that made a reservation. So when it's busy, I get kind of upset when people try to cut the line and self-seat. So I approach this gentleman and I say, Good afternoon, sir. I hope you're having a wonderful Thanksgiving. Welcome to restaurant. 
I just want to say you are not able to self seat in this section. If you want to self seat, you can go to the bar or go to the host stand. He gets very honorary at me and says, well, I have a reservation. It's under blank name. And then I ask, well, did the hosts walk you to this seat? And he says, no, they didn't. They just said I could sit wherever I want. And then I retorted what they probably meant, sir, was you could sit anywhere in the bar. Do you want me to take you over? He then retorts that this is BS and gets up and under his breath says you effing racist beach you don't want me to sit in my set you don't want me to sit in your section you racist beach i know right no mention of race well, because the table he sat at was reserved for another party he ends up moving tables thankfully gets a seat at the bar I just let my managers know what happened just in case he tries to talk to a manager because racism, very serious. Anywhere in the restaurant industry, any sign of discrimination, you're going to get your butt booted. So I just wanted to say I wasn't racist in that situation. My managers believe me and thankfully he didn't end up trying to talk to another manager. Now I want to discuss a time I was a lot younger here. I think I was 19 years old and I was taken and reported for being racist at Starbucks. <laughs> this is the situation. I know you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, this woman probably is a racist if she's been reported at multiple jobs for being racist. But hear me out. This is what happened woman walks in she comes to the front and we get to talking she orders a coffee i ask her her name and she says chile which is the spanish pronunciation of the country chile chile so i ask her oh like the country she starts to get very offended and says what do you mean like the country what country and I explained to her that the Spanish pronunciation of Chile is Chile. She gets upset and then proceeds to want to reload, I think, a dollar fifty on her Starbucks card. And I unfortunately have to tell her, ma'am, you can't do that. It needs to be at least five dollars or more for me to load your card. She doesn't believe me. I get a manager involved. The manager tells her the same thing. She shakes her head, walks away, gets her drink, and leaves. Turns out she called corporate on me, and I got a write-up from that same manager who told her she couldn't reload stars with less than five dollars. Kind of ridiculous. I know, but that's the bureaucracy a lot of places have. Now we get into story number four. This wasn't a restaurant story per se. It was when I was working at a retail store. I've told this story in another video, but it's just so crazy. I can't help but share it again. It was the time I almost got actually with an S assaulted at my job. I was working in the men's fitting room department and a customer who goes in to the store pretty much every day to only use the bathroom and leave comes in and says, excuse me, miss, may I ask you a question? And I, with my sunny little smile say, of course, sir, what can I help you with? He says, may I give you a kiss? leans in close to me like that. I back away and say, sir, I am so sorry, but I do not want that kind of physical attention from you. He keeps trying to come after me, physically invading my space and says, why not? You're so pretty, blah, blah, blah. I, why can't I kiss you? He finally 
backs off when I tell him I have a boyfriend. At the time, I didn't have a boyfriend, but the fact that he wouldn't back off and respect that was despicable until I said I had another man in my life. It's like he respected this stranger more than me, a worker he saw every day and interacted with on a friendly level with every day. It was hurtful and it sucked. So if you're watching this and you're one of my 93% male following, please don't do that to another woman. And that's the end of the video. I could definitely sit down and talk for another 20 minutes, but I'm not going to do that to you. Thank you so much for watching, Peaches. Have a great rest of your day. Stay peachy and stay hydrated.